Well hello there and welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe. If you're not new here and you've been here for a while please make sure that notification bell switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload. Very quickly before we jump into today's video I do just want to mention that my dull beauty giveaway is still live. It doesn't close until the 24th of November. So if you'd like to win some Doll Beauty goodies, then please just enter my little giveaway. Oh my God, that's so awkward. What if it's up there? I actually don't remember. <laughs> Whatever side it's on, I'll link it in the cards. Um, but yeah, go and enter that if you want to win some lashes. I have a very exciting video today because I am actually testing two of the new items from the new Revolution and Friends range. And even more excitingly, excitingly, I never know if that's a word. I don't think it is, but we're going to make it up and we're gonna make it a word um this video is actually in collaboration with my very good friend she's also a patreon subscriber she's amazing we literally talk all the time i absolutely love her her name's loose stevenson to be honest a lot of you are probably already subscribed to her but she's just hit the big 10k on youtube and i'm so proud of her and today we just thought well we got the same products we might as well just do a little bit of a collaboration so after you watch this video if you'd like to go and see what she thought of these products then head over to her video I will link it down in the description. If you don't know, Revolution launched their first Friends collab maybe a couple of months ago, about a month ago or so, and I have done video reviews on all of those products barring the boy character's lip glosses because there was no like matching lipstick or palettes. But they have just launched their second drop of the collection and these are mainly like big palettes. Now I was quite surprised at how expensive this launch was, like pretty much every single palette is £20 which is a lot of money for Revolution considering the first drop was super affordable. But when these arrived in the post I kind of understood why they're so expensive because they're absolutely massive. Honestly I did not expect them to be this big but they are huge and that is obviously why they cost so much. So as you can see, I firstly bought this. This is the, oh I've got it upside down, I've put it in the box upside down, one idiot. Um, this is the Revolution Friends face palette. Honestly, you just wait and see what this looks like when I get out of the packaging. This is the Friends Revolution face palette. I believe you get bronzers, contours and highlights in here, hence why I've got like no dimension on my face right now. And then I also bought one of the eye palettes. Don't worry, I am planning on getting the other eye palettes as well, but I just couldn't afford to spend £80 on all four of the palettes. So I just bought a couple of them and then I'll redo and then I'll redo and then I'll do reviews later on in the future. But this is the open the door palette, I think. And this is just the huge like frame palette. It's, they're just absolutely huge. I cannot believe how big they are. I wish they kind of did them a bit smaller and just made them a little bit more affordable. Just so a lot more people would be able to buy them. Um, I mean, I would have bought all of it if it wasn't for the such high price range. But anyway, let's get into it. So firstly, we are going to be testing the face palette. I love the packaging, like all the Central Perk logos on it. So cute. This is what the face palette looks like. Now, please just look at the size difference to my head. Like it literally covers my whole face. It is absolutely huge. And I don't know how I'm going to store this, but that is a future Alex problem. So this is what it looks like. I love the whole Central Perk logo and stuff. The packaging is super cute, but I just know a lot of people are not going to like this bulky packaging because I mean, it is quite thick. And then you just open it up at the bottom. We take the plastic off. And this is what the face palette looks like. So you do get quite a decent sized mirror in here. And then you have nine pans in here. The top three are highlighters. And then you kind of just get six different shades of bronzer slash contour. I feel like these are not specific. I feel like these are not specifically bronzers and these are specific specifically contour i just feel like you pick what shades depending on what skin tone you are so because i've got such a fair skin i'll probably take like either one of these two and then contour maybe even this one i don't know if i'll be even able to use these three but anyway this is absolutely huge i think they could have done this better by doing it a little bit smaller but hey ho um we're gonna jump into the actual tutorial part of this because i feel like i'm rambling for way too long now and i'll show you the eyeshadow palette when we get into the eyeshadow palette portion 
So firstly, I need to take a bronzer. So I think I'm just going to take a mix of latte and cappuccino. Also, I love the pans. I didn't even show you up close. Look how cute the pan details are. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to take a combination of these two. Got my big bronzer brush. This is the Spectrum AI1 brush. And I'm just going to tap my brush in both. Hopefully these work for me. And let's apply it. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. Middle finger to my thumb and then I snap it. Hey, anyone else been listening to Ariana's new album on repeat? Because same. I'm literally obsessed with her. So those are the bronzers on. And guys, they worked really nicely. Because I've got such a fair skin tone, these shades are perfect for me. They're really similar to like Hula Light. I think Latte is pretty bang on with Hula Light. It's super fair. So if you've got a fair skin tone, you're going to absolutely love these bronzer shades. Next for contour, I'm going to take this shade Macchiato. I think if it's too light, then I'll take a little bit of chai, but I, th I honestly think these are going to be too dark for me, which is not an issue. This honestly looks like a really nice neutral eyeshadow palette, so if I don't use these, I can just use it as an eyeshadow palette. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take this one here. Do you know what? Considering the packaging is super big and bulky, it's actually not that heavy. It's super light, actually, which is good. Um, nothing worse than having big, bulky and heavy packaging. So let's try out this macchiato shade. And that is the shade macchiato on my face. And you know what? Super easy to work with. Like you apply it on, you think it's too pigmented, but it blends out super easy. So it was really pretty actually. All the shades in this palette seem to be very much on the warm side. So I kind of wish they did like a row of like bronzers like light medium dark and then like a row of contours like me in light medium and dark and made them like more cool toned and kept the bronzers warm because i just think that these all are too warmish like there needs to be a little bit of cool toned in there as well so you can contour i don't mind a warm contour as long as it's not too dark and i actually quite like this shade so i am um, I'm liking this so far, not gonna lie. Um, next, we're gonna take the highlighters. Now we have a black coffee, flat white, and espresso. Um, this situation, a bit odd. Black coffee is like the lightest shimmer, or sh highlighter, shall I say, which is that what is, that is what it looks like, which is beautiful, and I'm obviously gonna use this shade. Then they have flat white, which is a gold. Oh my God, look at the formula of these highlighters, incredible. Next, they have Espresso. Now, bear in mind that this is the light to medium palette, and they've got a super dark shade here called Espresso. I'm not really too sure what they were thinking when they put this shade in this palette. There is like a dark to deep palette. I don't think that's actually launched yet. I'm pretty sure it's coming soon, but I think the Espresso palette should have been in the deep to dark palette, because now I'm interested to see what highlighters are in that palette. Um, but I just feel like this won't work for light or medium. This is for like a deep skin tone. Um, it is stunning, however, and I could definitely use that for eyeshadow. Um, but I think I would have preferred them to do like another highlighter to go with light to medium skin tones. But apart from that, that's pretty much my only thing about the highlighters. They look stunning, so I need to put one of them on my face. So I'm going to take the shade Flat White. Let's see how good this is. Well, I say how good. Let's hope it's very good. Also, not a lot of kickback, to be honest. Um, there is a little bit, but not a crap ton. And this is the highlighter, and I must admit, absolutely stunning the products in this palette are super good quality i will say that however it is 20 pounds and it is just a face palette so if you've already got loads of face palettes i don't feel like you need this like especially because the packaging is so big and bulky however if you're a collector of friends revolution makeup if you're such a huge friends fan this would look amazing like on your like makeup vanity and stuff i'm really impressed with this um and i'm, I'm happy to have it in my collection because i can use this as an eye palette as well not just like a face palette so that actually gets a thumbs up from me i'm just gonna throw some blush on this is one of the new dull beauty high uh, not highlighters blushes in the shade costa doll look at that oh me and a few of my patrons 
bought the whole set and then we like split the shades apart because we didn't obviously want to get all of them but they weren't available to buy individually they are now though um we just don't have very much patience so um i'm just gonna put some of this on right now we can move on to the eyeshadow palette portion of this video and we are going to be testing the open the door eyeshadow palette so this is absolutely massive i do just want to quickly talk about the packaging um the packaging is kind of like a foam texture it's very odd like i've never seen anything like this before like all down the side here it's just like a black foam it's super lightweight it's literally weighs nothing and then to hold the palette together they have these like little ring binder things i don't know how to explain it um but it's basically like a ring binder and when you open it up it holds it like this so the packaging is super different super unique never seen anything like this before um but it is pretty big and bulky very odd shape so i feel like a lot of people again are not gonna like the packaging because it's so big me however i'm not really that fast um i'd need to buy more makeup storage anyways i don't want to blind you right on one side you actually get this really big mirror which is going to come in handy with doing your makeup or especially using this eyeshadow palette i think it's quite clever actually hello because you can fold it back and do your makeup and then can we please talk about how gorgeous this eyeshadow palette is this is a me palette this is the one that like gravitated me the most because it has pinks in here and pink it's my favorite color you guys know it is so when i saw that this had a very beautiful color story i was like I need to pick up this one again this also retails for 20 pounds so it's not the cheapest revolution palette that they do however it is pretty much you're paying for the packaging aren't you really and then these like gorgeous shades and again they've got the printing on there to match the actual palette which is super cute um i'm actually going to go ahead <clears throat> don't know what happened to my voice there i'm actually going to go ahead and swatch this whole palette for you and then we can get into the tutorial so this is the first half of the palette swatched i'm loving the color story again they have that like you know i told you in my like obsession video that they always have this like bright silver in their palettes it's made another appearance in this palette i love the pinks in here and please look at that neon pink isn't it so stunning and this is the second half swatched and the shimmers in here are super good quality they are that like beautiful foily formula all the shades just feel really soft and creamy um and not dry or anything like the quality of this palette i must admit just by swatching it is really good so i kind of get why it has that 20 pound price tag as well not just because of the packaging but i feel like the shades are better quality i've just primed my eyelids i used my revolution ultimate eye base obviously what else would i use i sound like a broken record at this point but we are going to do a nice little pink eye look with this palette so i think i'm going to firstly start off with this coral shade called i'm fine oh oh okay I mean there's a lot of kickback in the pan don't get me wrong if i can just show you that quickly a lot of kickback <laughs> however really nicely pigmented so i just want to deepen that up a little bit i think so i feel like i need to take this uh, eggplant shade because it is a bright neon pink and i need to add that in my crease don't i Well, these are really nice and pigmented. I must admit, very good quality. To blend out my top edges, I'm gonna, I was gonna go back in with I'm fine, but I wanna use as many shades as possible. So I think I'm gonna take a combination of this one, which is called The List, and then mix it with Cups and Ice, which is a really fair pink shade, but I feel like it'll be too light to blend that out. So I'm just gonna mix these together. I just want to deepen up the outer corners just a little bit before we go in with the half cut crease yes i'm doing another one um, and i'm gonna take this top one here which is called java and i'm just gonna take a pinch of that again a little bit kickbacky um just to add to the outer edge And 
as I said, I'm going to do a half cut crease and I'm just going to do that using my Revolution Ultimate Eye Face. I'm going to jump off camera, do this, and then I'll be right back. Um, these are my half cut creases. A little bit uneven, but when are they not? Have they even ever been symmetrical? I don't think so. Um, went a little bit too high with this one, but doesn't matter. We are going to now pick a beautiful shimmer from this palette to try. I'm not going to lie. Normally, I would pick a shade like this because, it, I mean, look at that. I think I'm going to steer away from that because I do usually use those types of shades when it comes to these palettes. I think I'm going to take Monana, which is this gold here, and then I can put a really light gold in my inner corner. So I'm going to start off with this shade. So this is what the shade is looking like on my eyes. It is a beautiful gold. It's definitely not as reflective as I know what that big white dog shade will be. This um, silver, just because I know I've played with a shade like that before. But it is super pretty. It looks really nice with the gold, uh, with the pink rather. And now I need to blend out my shimmer. So I think I'm going to take this one, which is called I Take the Rachel. And then I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of Java, which was that dark pink we used on our outer corner, just to blend in the shimmers to the shade. Okay, so these are what my eyes are looking like. We've now done the lids and now to move on to the lower lash line. So I think I'm going to take the shade Frank Junior Junior. I'm going to keep it within the like pink purpley kind of range. That shade is so beautiful. It's really pigmented as well. I was actually quite shocked at how pigmented that is. Like, it's really, like, made the lower lash line pop. And I am obsessed with it. We now need to put a shade in the inner corner and brow bone. And I'm going to take my trusty new favourite brush, which is the Morphe M515. You all need this in your life. And I'm going to take the shade Orthodontist, which is this one here. Right, so this is the inner corner and brow bone highlight on. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's definitely not going to be as bright and icy as the big white dog shade. But I just wanted to try something a little bit different. And I think it really complements the lid shade well as well. And safe to say, I'm very impressed with these shades. My only fault on this palette is that the shimmer shades have a tiny bit of fallout. But it's really not that much to even say to do your base makeup first. Because it's literally the tiniest amount. And now I've completed the eye look. I'm going to hop off camera. I'm going to do my lashes, mascara and lipstick. And then I'll be right back with my final thoughts on both of these palettes. Right guys, so this is my completed look. For my lashes, I used the Power Lashes in the style Dream. For my mascara, you know what it is before I even said it. It's the iHeart Revolution Chocolate Dipped. Again, as I say a million times, you have to get this if you haven't already. It's only £5 and it's amazing. And my lips is actually a dull beauty lipstick in the style Get Lippy. And I absolutely love it. I actually have three of these now when I didn't own them about a week ago. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, this is my completed look using both of these palettes from the new Friends Revolution collection, the face palette and the Open the Door palette. So just to round up my thoughts and opinions on these palettes, firstly, the packaging is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Let's be honest, they are huge. They're big, they're bulky. Um, so if you don't like this type of packaging, I just don't think it's worth buying because you're going to absolutely hate these and these are going to be a pain to store. So I feel like they're more for like show pieces on top of your makeup and stuff. But for me, I don't have that option at the moment. So I'm going to have to store these away somewhere until I actually move house. Secondly, they're super expensive. They're £20 each, which is the reason why I couldn't buy all of the palettes at the same time. Had to buy these two to start off with and then I will buy the others and review them separately. Um, they are expensive, but I must admit, they are very good quality. I feel like the quality is a lot better than their normal palettes, like their normal sized and priced palettes. 
the face palette firstly was really nice i did kind of round up my thoughts about this earlier um i just wish that this was maybe a little bit more smaller i mean it's just a face palette there's no need for it to be this big um but the shades in here are super pretty i think this is the only shade in here which is not very necessary it just doesn't fit in with the light to medium you know skin tones it's much more for deeper skin tones however the shades in here are really smooth and easy to work with like the quality i must admit is really good in these palettes however i just feel like if you've got tons of face palettes this is not something that you necessarily need in your collection i think it's more for if you like to collect the friends makeup because you're such a huge fan of the show or if you just love collecting revolution makeup in general i mean i do that's why i buy it all but i do love this face palette and i will be using it in the future in terms of the eyeshadow palette the packaging is super different obviously it's nothing that any brand has ever done before i don't think with the whole like binder bits down the side it's super lightweight though the only thing with this is that it's such an odd shape this is going to be a little bit difficult to store the palette is definitely a bit of me like i absolutely love the color story of this palette the shades in here are super good quality i keep saying super don't i that's like my new thing like super good quality super beautiful um, but it is really good quality i must admit and yes the 20 pound price tag is really expensive but sometimes with revolution you have to pay more to get the super good quality i just said it again the very good quality that it is like the shimmers in here are all foils they're not normal shimmers and this is the best shimmer formula that they do and i'm happy that every single shimmer in this palette is that foil formula because it honestly is amazing the mattes in here are really pigmented very easy to blend in with each other i mean you saw me do the eye look earlier uh, i'm just really impressed with this palette i must admit this is definitely my favorite color story out of all of the palettes that they've done the lobster is a little bit more on the warm tone side and the taxi is more cool toned um let me know down below which palette you'd like me to review next and i'll be sure to get that up as soon as i can for you overall i think this is a really nice collection i do like the fact that they've gone a little bit different this time around and not done like the same thing again even though i would like it if they did the boy palettes because obviously i want to use the lip glosses i still haven't used them yet but i love how they've gone a little bit different in the collection it made it a little bit more fun um i just i just know a lot of people are not going to like this packaging but for me as a makeup collector and a friends lover i love it and i'm definitely going to collect the other items in the range they do also have in this range um a lot of bath products i think they're mainly bath fizzers i think but i don't have baths i only have showers so there was no need for me to buy those but they are a little bit more on the cheaper side and they also have a lip mask and like body cream um, a reusable cup all things that i'm just not going to use so i didn't see the point of buying them i'm just going to stick to buying the makeup products in this launch let me know down below what you think of this second launch because i'd love to know i feel like there are going to be a little bit of mixed of opinions but i would love to know what you think down below also do not forget to go and check out lucy's video i'm going to leave it linked down below for you i cannot wait to see what she creates with the palettes um i am just in love with the makeup today and i'm not gonna lie i am a bit biased because i love revolution but i would tell you if something was crap these are not crap like these are very good quality i'm honestly very impressed i feel like my makeup looks beautiful right now and this just makes me more excited to try the rest of the stuff like now i know that these products so far are really good quality it just makes me more excited to try those so definitely let me know down below which palette you'd like me to try next if you enjoyed this video please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye